Hi everybody. I hope everybody's had a good day. Um, mine's been so-so. I had I helped to decorate the hall for Valentine's Day. I helped, you know, I was nominated to do that, so. No, there's really nobody else to help. So, it looks pretty good out there. I'll show it to you later. Um, so we're doing liver and onions and cas and uh, eggplant casserole. I have never made an eggplant casserole in my life. I have not looked up for a recipe. Just something came in my head and I'm going to try it. Uh, right now, I am sauteing celery. And a little OO and butter. Okay. Being just a casserole, you know, you don't, you won't, don't want to overcook stuff. And that way, you know, the celery goes in. It doesn't have to stay in there two or three hours to cook. Okay, and I soak the rice overnight. And I've got it cooking really, really low. Uh, just your normal, you know, measuring for the family is good enough for this. Um, this is done, actually. So I'm going to turn it off. Because I don't want soggy rice. Okay. And so, that's where I'm at right at this moment. And I'm about to cut up a uh, pepper. I've got green and orange. I've got some red up in the cabinet. Some roasted red. And I... Uh, I'm going to get down. I think I'm going to quarter the three. You know, green... Uh, orange and the red that has been toasted or whatnot. I love those. They are really delicious. You get them in a jar pre-cooked. But they have got the most wonderful taste. I just love them. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to have to open some. I'm not sure where I put them at. I'll be back with you shortly. Here we go. And these things are awesome. I mean, awesome, awesome. Sweet red peppers, fire roasted. All right. So we're going to add those with quarters of the orange and the green. And I'll be right back. All right. I've got the uh, orange and the green pepper sauteing. Along with the celery. And the OO and the butter. So, keep that stirred. Make sure the rice. We've got to keep that rice happening. All right. Next thing we want to do, I got some good onion here. We're going to cut some of these up to go in the, the mixture. All right. You got to clean them and cut them. Dice them. All right. So now we got my green onions in there. I used about three green onions, about three stalks of celery. Three of everything, I guess, except, of course, the peppers was quartered. And um, uh, the red ones, you know, your fire-roasted red peppers, you don't want to put them in yet because they're already cooked. You know, they're soft. So, we don't want to add them to this hard vegetable mixture yet. Got to get everything good and sauteed up. So right now what I'm going to do is cut the onion that's going to go with the liver and the skillet with it. So I'll be back shortly. Alright, um, 
I'm back. I decided to, I want to put a little garlic in my um, saute mixture, which I'm about to do. And this is the way I like my onions cut up for my liver. I'm fixing to wash it real good. And put some olive oil on the skillet and get that going with the, the onions. Okay. I don't know um, how you all deal with your salt and pepper, but... I season as I go everything and of course by taste I think that's best so so far salt and pepper and that's it on the seasoning part I'm going to put a little tenderizer on the liver all right we'll be back all right guys I took up just a tad of lemon pepper and sprinkled on my um, sprinkled on my liver so you can see it's washed in the oh oh all right I'm about to put the onions on it and put the lid on it and I put the uh, tenderizer on it as well and sprinkled it lightly All right, so there's salt and pepper, tenderizer, uh, and I use cracked pepper. You know, I like that. I love cracked pepper. And I'm about to put the lid on it. And I'm going to put it on medium heat. And you want it to tenderize, so you don't want it to cook real fast. Okay. Alright, so while that's cooking, I got to get everything else sliced up. So I'm going to wash up my bell my uh, eggplant. And um, get everything here sliced up. And I now have the rice here with the sauteed ingredients on top of it chilling it's just sitting here chilling all right all right guys um at this point you want to turn your liver down to about two you don't want to lose all that yummy sauce uh spray you a little you know i use canola in your pan that you're going to put your casserole. All right. Then you got your eggplant. You got your mushrooms. And I'm mashed and sliced a little bit of garlic here. Because I'm going to make, uh, make me some garlic Italian. I bought me some Italian sliced bread the other day. Soft, yummy bread. And I'm going to. Rub the garlic on the bread. And then, you know, put the butter on. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've added... Uh, the uh, You want to use one can of mushroom soup. And just put, you know, like about a quarter cup of water starting out. Okay, and this is also where you want to season if you need to season anymore taste it and see what you need i need a little bit more salt and a little more cracked pepper and i'm going to get out a little bit of sriracha i want a few drops of sriracha in there uh, yeah Just a few, not a lot. I, I don't eat a lot of spicy food. Just a few drops. Okay. Stir 
it up some more. That one's lopsided. I'll be so I'm watching bushcraft. It, you can hear the hammering in the background. Hope it's not annoying, but I like watching the girls building the houses and the farms in the bush. I think it's awesome. Alright, so that and you know what we need to do? We'll take whew, take and put a little few little pieces of eggplant I guess on the bottom. Just, you know, spread them out. I think that's where I'm going to put it all at. And just cover the top of it with the wet ingredients. It's like I told y'all, I've never made this before. So it's going to be interesting how it comes out. And maybe an, another good new way of eating eggplant and it tasting good. All right. Let's stir it up. I think I'm going to put just a tad more water into it like this. A little bit at a time. Terrible thing about Elvis Presley, uh, daughter, Lisa Marie. Gosh, I was really shocked to hear she passed away. Sad. And back in the day when her daddy passed away, uh, Elvis, I was getting ready to take my sister to go see him. He was on tour and he was coming to Nashville. Of course, I'm not in Nashville now, but that was back in the day. She really liked Elvis, and I wanted to take her. I'll be darned. During the middle of all that, I think he was, I think he was uh, in Memphis at the time uh, during this tour. When he passed away, the people were acting crazy on the street. She wanted to go down there when he died. And, uh, you know, go to the funeral, and people were just acting too crazy. I said, I, we can't go down there, Francis. They're acting crazy. People was out on the street throwing stuff and all kinds of crap. It was crazy. All right, so what we're going to do is pour this in. Kind of spread it out as we go. And you know, uh, eggplant soaks up. Sponge. It's like a sponge, really. Although it's a good vegetable. It has its own little meaty taste. It's just sometimes some people just can't eat it. You know, like, I never ate eggplant till I moved up north here. Never. Oh, and one of my YouTube friends uh, his wife is from Russia and they call him pierogi. We didn't I didn't know what a pierogi was so I came up here either. That, marinara that's just not big down in the south. It's 
not be on my maiden list. I think this is actually going to be awesome. This is a medium sized Pyrex bowl, guys. Okay, so we put some water in the bowl. Slide this over. And put your oven on 350. That's what I got my oven on right now. Heating up. And we're going to put mushrooms on top. And we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Bring it out and um, no, not bring it out. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I'm going to put cheese on this right here next, which you'll see. You bring it out in 30 minutes, uncover it, take the aluminum pour log, and put it back in for 15 minutes. And I got an awesome cheese to go on here. It's a deli uh, block. It's sliced off a deli block mild uh, cheddar. It's a real awesome cheese. I love it. I don't buy shredded cheese no more. I either grate it or lay it down flat like I'm about to do. Alright. Get me a bite of mushroom. I'll show you what it looks like. Yep. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm going to get the cheese out. Good old deli cut cheese, thin sliced. Everything is so high at the grocery anymore. I don't see how, right, just the, the eggs, the milk, and the bread. Milk is $6 now a uh, gallon. Up here, I don't know about anywhere else. Um, and the eggs and the bread's five, and almost five. I will say, round dollar. And the reason why I don't like shredded cheese anymore. Because I found out that um, they put wood shavings, tiny, tiny wood shavings in cheese, in shredded cheese. And that keeps it from, um, that keeps them from sticking together. Is that not crazy? But they do. And block cheese, believe me, it's more healthier anyway. You want to stay away from, um, oh, that's good cheese. You want to stay away from stuff that's not, that's pasteurized and 
all that junk. It's not good for you. You gotta do what you gotta do though sometimes. Sometimes. But I, I don't eat shredded cheese no more. That's one thing I will not do is eat wood. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. I'm going to set this out of the way. Get one before I put on it. I'm cleaning on my house right now. I'm just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning because the year Danny was sick, I wasn't able to do a whole lot of that. And I've had a mess straighten out. And they only gave me a certain amount of days to get his stuff out of his apartment before they start charging him money. So I busted butt doing that. I had little bags of stuff all I had a trail through this house with little bags of stuff. And was getting on my nerves to say the least. But bless his heart he couldn't help it. My damn sure wasn't gonna leave it to come no house. I just did here and there what I could. Um, sometime this week I'm gonna make a uh, turkey pot pie for you guys. And I wish that, um, right to the floor. trash, I wish you guys would subscribe, and I mean, you've come all this far, I wish you would subscribe and like my videos and share them, and two, I'd like to hear your input on some things and comments, I've gotten one comment, that's awful. Am I that bad of a person? <laughs> Lord. And um, anyways, and to the, uh, uh, the next couple videos, I'm going to do my intro, which I should have done a long time ago. But guys, I just didn't have it, you know. I was so busy. So, so busy. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to put this in the oven, and then I'll be back. Hey guys, I want to show you how I do this bread. See how I've cut me up uh, some pieces of garlic. And you mash the garlic and get the juice, you know, out, out of the garlic running. And just take the garlic and put it on your bread. And rub it into your bread like that. As we all know, garlic is supposed to be really good for you, for your blood. That and onion. And I love garlic. I highly doubt I'll eat all this, but at once. This bread is so salt and yummy. It melts right in your mouth. It's Italian. It was, you know, it was cooked in the bakery. <sighs> yeah, just rub it on there real good. And then I like to shake mine off in the pan. And I'll take and put butter on it. Good soft butter. Like that. Is it called taking on dumb disease for you? Don't stop it before it gets worse. Paragon Pax 
I use real butter too. I don't like margarine that much anymore. Mm. <laughs> Good smelling bread. I just want to take a bite of it now. A lot of people use uh, gravy on their liver. Um, I prefer not, but I'll eat it either way, especially if it's a good gravy. Because the way I cook my liver, you see, you know, the onions, and it makes its own sauce. And that's good to put on your mashed potatoes. If I wasn't making this rice dish, you know, I got rice in the casserole, I would have made mashed potatoes. Because most of the time when I cook uh, liver and onions, I make mashed potatoes as well. Put the juice on, or gravy, whichever you want to call it. But you just make you a regular, you know, how you make your regular beef gravy out of the drippings. And uh, that's all you got to do if you want gravy. I used to like gravy a whole lot when I was a kid, but... I like sauces more these days, it seems. Good sauce. And I like to leave the garlic on my bread. And toast it with the bread. Still waiting on the casserole. It's cooking. You see the timer. Um, got about See between 20 and 25 minutes right now. So it hasn't cooked that far yet. But make sure you've got your... If you're cooking liver with it, make sure you've got it turned down on about 2 now. Because you don't want to cook your juices out of it. You don't want dry meat. Okay, so... That's how you do the garlic. I'll show you what it looks like. That's going to be yummy. Alright, back in a bit. <laughs> 